Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Graphing parabolas, quadratic functions, understanding and identifying the various parabolas. In this lesson, this will be the last, the, the wrap-up lesson to show you the, the actual vertex form uh, in terms of graphing parabolas. Well, this is the format, as we said, is that we want. Okay, we've looked at this and the congruency and how based on when a value here was equal to one, we were able to pretty much come up with a difference of a one, three, five pattern, which enabled us to graph all parabolas. Okay, now, uh, in terms of what we've looked at in previous um, lessons, is pretty much how our quadratic functions show, let's say in our notes, or in our textbook. So let's look at the different formats. Okay, so we have here, the equation of a quadratic function can be expressed in different ways. First one, standard form. Okay, and as, as I've said in the previous lessons, it's in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus some kind of bx value plus some kind of a constant c. Okay, and that's that format. Now, um, we have the factored form, which we're not going to look at today. And finally, we have the vertex form. And here, as it says, the vertex form will be the form we will focus on as they are the simplest to graph with. Okay, so in, in this version of the, the vertex format, um, and we're actually going to be looking at it when it is actually in this um, design, so to speak. Um, keep in mind also that all three of these equations are the same equation. So let's uh, move on here. So when graphing quadratic functions, we want to make sure our equation is in some variation of the vertex form. We looked at congruency in terms of when our parabola was that. What we're going to be looking on at today is when it's in this format. In this format, whenever we saw this format, we know that the most important thing, the first thing to find well, since it is vertex form, is to be able to extract the vertex. Vertex here, zero, zero. The vertex here is going to be zero and whatever this k value is. And we take the sign as well with it. Um, when the vertex, when the equation is in this format, notice how there's no k value. So therefore, the k value is zero. This version of the vertex is whatever this is but remember, we take pretty much the opposite of that sign. So here it's a negative h, so our value here is going to be our h. So whatever the h value is, or you know, we reverse the signs and put that as part of the vertex. And whenever the vertex is in this format here, again, same thing. Okay, it's negative h in the brackets, it's positive h for the vertex, and in terms of here's our k value, whatever our k value is and that will represent the vertex. And that's the format that we will be looking at today. Okay. So the uh, two formats of the parabolas we'll be looking at today and comparing be written in the following format. y is equal to ax squared as opposed to y is equal to ax minus h squared plus k. And here are several versions um, or several examples of equations or quadratic functions that are actually in that format, in that vertex form. Information we need to identify. When graphing parabolas, we need to be able to identify the following six things. The vertex, the axis of symmetry, maximum minimum value, uh, pattern for graphing, direction of the opening, and the range. We will be making our comparison between the various formats with respect to the equation y is equal to x squared. So we're looking at the vertex form where we have a vertex of h and k that is not considered 0k or h and 0 as we've seen in the previous chapter. So we're going to graph the following. Graph the following equations. y is equal to negative x 
minus 3, all squared, plus 7. And y is equal to 2, brackets, x plus 6, all squared, minus 4. To graph the following, use table of values or use Mr. P's pattern rule to graph your parabola. Now, in order to be able to use Mr. P's uh, pattern rule for graphing parabolas, you need to be able to identify the vertex and the A value. So, okay, so once we know what the vertex is, once we know what the vertex is, and we find what the A value is, we can use the 1, 3 pattern rule, 1, 3, 5 pattern rule to help us graph our parabola. Okay? Once we find our A value, it will also help us identify the direction of the opening of the parabola. So, let's graph the following. So, note the format of the quadratic function. It's in the form y is equal to A, brackets, x minus h all squared, plus k. Here's our, our, our format. It's in what we call the vertex form. Okay, so this is the vertex form because the vertex, when it is written in this form, is in the form of h and k. Now notice here how the h of the vertex shows the opposite sign from the equation, and but the k value remains the same. So take a moment and try to figure out what the vertex is of the following two equations. Okay, so hopefully you've already uh, tried figuring out what the vertex is. So if we take the vertex and we know that it's in the form of this format, the vertex form, here, what we have in brackets, that represents our h, this represents our k. And as we said here, in terms of the h value, the opposite sign, so we have negative 3 inside, so the opposite of negative 3 would be positive 3. Our k value remains the same, so it's positive 7. So the vertex for the first equation, for this equation right here, is 3 and 7. Now in terms of the vertex for the next example, again, here's our h. Here's our k. Remember, as we said, h opposite. So positive 6 is inside the brackets. Outside, when we write down our h value, it's the opposite. So it becomes negative 6. In terms of k, k remains the same. k is negative 4. So therefore, the vertex of this equation right here is negative 6 and negative 4. So now once we have that, we want to know what direction we're going to put our opening or start drawing our 1, 3, 5 pattern. So when we're graphing it, we want to know what our A value is. Okay, Our A value here, negative. So the parabola is going to go down. Okay, The parabola here is positive, so we know the parabola is going to go up. But here, because the A value is negative 1, the format, the pattern will be 1, 3, 5. In terms of here, the pattern will be 2 times the 1, 3, 5 pattern. Okay? 